jet ski and personal watercraft accidents are frankly quite quite common. I've been involved in one myself and know of an individual who broke their back on one. Um, I know an attorney who lost his life on one. And unfortunately, it's kind of like driving a motorcycle on a roadway. You're smaller than the boats out there. And for that reason, they don't pay a whole lot of attention to you. Also, you're quicker, you're more maneuverable. And usually, people using personal watercraft are trying to ride awake or jump awake off of a boat. And for that reason, they get quite close. The real question is, did the other boat or whatever that struck you or hurt you, did they owe you a duty of care? Meaning, should they have been watching out for you? And we find most of these incidents occur because of alcohol. Unfortunately, people are on the lake or a waterway and they're having a good time and they're drinking and they're driving a boat. And for that reason, somebody in a personal watercraft just doesn't get paid a whole lot of attention to. Obviously, the person operating a, a personal water, a watercraft is just like driving a motorcycle. I'm supposed to drink and operate those either, which is usually one of the biggest problems with my clients or potential clients' cases is they've been operating a personal watercraft while using intoxicating beverages. So I highly encourage you, if you are going to use a personal watercraft, not to use intoxicating beverages. Don't drink and not ride a sea dew. It's not fun when you get hurt.